Read it. You love it. I love it. I could spend all day on Reddit reading posts on r slash Linux or r slash Linux master race or r slash Unix porn, even r, r slash Arch Linux, uh, all great subreddits. But sometimes you don't have a web browser available or you're currently living in a terminal or some kind of bash prompt and, um, Opening up something like Firefox or Chrome is not an option. So, how do you view Reddit, post on Reddit, comment on Reddit from the command line? Well, today I'll show you. Reddit Terminal Viewer, RTV. Reddit Terminal Viewer. RTV provides a terminal interface to view and interact with Reddit. It's compatible with most terminal emulators on Linux and Mac OS. RTV can be installed using pip. A simple pip install RTV should work for you. Uh, on Mac OS, brew. Brew install RTV works. For most uh, recent versions of Debian or Ubuntu, sudo apt install RTV should work for you. Arch, it's not in the official Arch re repos, but RTV is in the AUR, so look for RTV in the AUR. Uh, there's even free BSD packages available. Uh, and of course, you can always build RTV from source if you need to. So I've already installed RTV on my system. I'm running Manjaro today. I installed uh, RTV from the Arch user repository. So I'm going to launch it. This will be the first time I've ever launched RTV on the system. So RTV. And it loads us to the front page, the front page of Reddit. Uh, you're probably not going to be that interested in viewing the front page of Reddit. I know I'm not. I'm only interested in the Linux subreddits. So how do we go there? Well, you do that with the slash key on the keyboard. Slash. And then type where you want to go. Now, you can include the R if you want. Slash R slash Linux. Takes me to slash R slash Linux. But... It, it uh, assumes the R, so really all I need to do is slash and then just Linux. And that will also take me to slash R slash Linux. So that was slash R slash Linux. How about slash Linux master race? That gets me to R ma Linux master race. And of course, Unix porn. What a great Linux subreddit that is. All right. Navigation. You can use the Vim keys, J and K, for up and down. So, well, let me make sure I'm actually in the terminal using them. Yep, J is down, K is up. You can also use N and M. N goes down one page, M goes up one page. So, J and K to go up and down by one post, N and, N and M on the keyboard to go up and down by one page. Now, here in our Unix porn, we have at the top, one hot, two top, three rising, four new, five controversial. This is how it sorts the post on this particular subreddit, hot, top, rising, new, controversial. One, two, three, four, five on your keyboard. So by default, it's already ranking them uh, by hot. But if you wanted to rank them by top, just hit two on the keyboard. Well, make sure. Okay, and then it asks us uh, how to rank them as far as the top posts. Past hour, past 24 hours, past week. I'm going to choose two on the keyboard for past 24 hours. If we wanted to switch this to sort them by rising, three on the keyboard. Uh, apparently, our Unix porn slash rising has no submissions. How about four? This will be the newest uh, post on this particular subreddit. And then, of course, five is controversial from the past hour, past 24 hours, past week, and so forth. To actually read a post, you know, you just go up and down, either with the Vim keys or the arrow keys also work. Uh, so I could actually use the down arrow key to go down, or the JK, 
J key on the keyboard, K to go back up. I'm going to pick one of these to read. How about the second one here, the weekly workshop? I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard. And you read this like you would, you know, in your web browser. You can scroll through the comments here. You can even upvote something like uh, Rodrigo Man's here, uh, his comment. You can use Adobe, whatever, and you, I, I don't even know what this post is about, but I'm going to upvote his comment. I'm going to hit A on the keyboard, and it has been upvoted. Now, I'm actually logged in. That's why I could upvote. I did log in off camera to Reddit. Let me show you how I did that. Uh, U on the keyboard stands for user. Hit U on the keyboard. It's going to log me out. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes for this to log out. That way you guys can see what happens when you log in. I'm going to hit U on the keyboard again. So I'm going to hit U on the keyboard. And it says opening browser for authorization. And it basically opens up Firefox or Chrome or some web browser. It does have to open up a web browser. And you just go down here and click allow. And it will connect my Reddit account, my username DistroTube, to RTV. To create a comment or to create a new post or uh, anything like that, C on the keyboard. So C. And now we could make a post. So I could just start typing here. Uh, this is nano. Uh, on some systems, it might open up Vim. It's going to open up the default text editor. I can't actually demonstrate a making an actual post here on Unix porn because Unix porn really is for posting screenshots. I would actually have to take a screenshot of my system and you know I'm, I'm not going to do that here in RTV. I really would have to do something like Unix porn in a traditional web browser. Uh, so I'm actually just going to control X to get out of nano here because uh, but I could add a comment to somebody else's post you know, like, good job, way to go, buddy, that sort of thing. Some completely empty post, so I'm going to open this up. Now, when I open that post, of course, that post is a link to an image. That image has to open in some kind of GUI program by default on my system. It opens in my web browser. So instead of viewing, you know, the actual link, the image in this case, probably on Imager, uh, Instead of hitting enter on the keyboard when I highlight the post, hit L on the keyboard. And that gets me to the comment page. And then I just scroll down to any comment. And you know what? I, I could just, instead of commenting on one of them, the very first comment. Just going to hit C. And now I'm just going to put, nice job, buddy. I think that's a that's good enough I think I can control X save nano hit enter and you see it's posting <clears throat> and we just commented on this let's see if I can find my post in here I may have to refresh the page R to refresh this page and here I am at the bottom distro tube nice job buddy I made this guy's day. It actually was a very nice screenshot. I wouldn't call that an empty comment because I actually did like his uh, screenshot here. It's really nice, kind of a solarized kind of theme. Uh, he's obviously a Vim guy, nice Vim RC. Uh, of course, he's got his NeoFetch in the terminal here. Um, why am I commenting on that? Anyway, RTV, if you're uh, wondering about any of the commands, all you need to do is hit the question mark symbol on your keyboard and this lists all the key commands J and K for up and down N and M for one page up one page down GG two G's in a row takes you to the first post shift G takes you to the last post one through five of course sort by hot top rising new and controversial yada 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 it is a very straightforward uh, program here RTV uh, and it's one worth checking out. If you kind of live in a terminal or live in a command line, uh, it makes sense, especially if the subreddits that you view are mostly text-based. They're not posting a lot of uh, pictures or especially video. If you're just reading people's posts and comments, uh, doing it in a terminal-based program makes a lot of sense. It's a lot faster than viewing them in something like Firefox or Chrome. 
Plus, you know, with these command line programs like RTV, I mean, I can do this from a TTY terminal. I mean, I, I don't even have to have a proper terminal emulator like Termite in my case or the GNOME terminal. Uh, and I can do this without being in any kind of a GUI uh, desktop environment at all. Some of you might be wondering about the value of a program like RTV to view Reddit in the terminal. Some of you may be saying, well, why can't I just view Reddit in the terminal in a terminal based web browser such as Lynx? I love the Lynx web browser, but let me show you why having something like RTV that is specifically geared for Reddit is better than viewing Reddit in a text based web browser like Lynx. So I'm going to type Lynx. Uh, reddit.com. We'll just go to the front page. And I have to accept cookies. Alright, and this is the front page of reddit.com. You notice anything different than this Reddit, which is just posts and comments. All that extra crud is not on the, the screen. And this one, the first thing you get is all these links to stuff you are not interested in even looking at. Let me go through all of this. So basically we're just scrolling through a bunch of stuff. There's so many links in Reddit and in the Lynx web browser or any text-based web browser, it's going to include every single link on the page. Uh, and most of them you're not even interested in. That is why you really are much better off viewing a site like Reddit in a terminal-based program designed specifically to view Reddit. It takes all that extra stuff that you're not interested, all them worthless links, and puts the stuff on the page that you need to actually view. Basically, the title of the post, uh, username, uh, subreddit name, comments, number of comments, number of points, that sort of thing, and then all the extra stuff, all the links to like images and stuff on the page. You're going to get that in a web browser. You're not going to get that in RTV. So if you spend a lot of time on Reddit and a lot of time in the terminal, install RTV. It's worth looking at. Peace, guys.